Every god in Smite, on top of having their abilities, also has many different statistics that are going to influence how well that god is able to perform. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what those statistics are and what they do. Now, before I dive into the specifics, I will note right off the bat that all the statistics in this game can be augmented by buying items, but some statistics are also gained by leveling up your god. All leveling up specific stats in Smite have a base value and a level progression value that you can view from the god's stats tab. The base stats are what the god will have before building any items at level 1, and the level progression is the amount of each stat you gain just by gaining experience and leveling up. With that said, what do all of these different stats do? The first stat is health. Your health tells you how much damage you can take before you die. In general, you want to keep this above 0 in order to continue living. Second, we have mana. Mana is used whenever you cast your abilities, and is required to use your abilities. In the same category we have HP5 and MP5, which stand for health or mana per 5 seconds respectively. These stats are your passive resource regeneration, and represent how much health and mana you get back just by existing in the game, in 5 second intervals. Next up is attack speed, which dictates how many auto attacks you can take in a one second period. For instance, here we see a level one Achilles being able to take 0.96 auto attacks per one second. In the same category, we have range, which is your auto attacks range, which is from how many in-game units away you will be able to land an auto attack against your opponent. Next up, we have speed, which is how fast your god will move on the map. We also have power, there are two types of power in Smite. Physical power is the type of power that is built by assassins, hunters, and warriors. And magical power is the power that is used by mages and guardians. To counter power, we have protections, which are also broken up into those same two categories, where magical protection protects against magical damage, and physical protection protects against physical damage. To counter protections, we have penetration. Penetration is built on some items and is broken into two categories, flat penetration and protection reductions. Flat penetration is when a portion of your target's protections are ignored. Protection reductions are a debuff that reduce the target's protections by a certain percentage. So if you're a hunter with executioner and you hit a 100 protection target, after landing 3 autos, they will only be using 74 of those 100 protections, until the debuff falls off. Another example, if you're an assassin with 15 flat penetration, hitting a target with 100 protections, your abilities would only notice the remaining 85 protections. The next thing to talk about is lifesteal. There are two types of lifesteal, basic attack and ability lifesteals. Physical damage is only able to benefit from basic attack lifesteal, unless you build into Soul Eater. Magical lifesteal is able to be used on both abilities and auto attacks. Regardless, in both cases the percentage of lifesteal you have is going to be the amount of health that you get refunded by the damage you are doing to enemies. To counter lifesteal and other healing, we can build into anti-heal which is a buildable statistic that reduces the amount of healing the enemy receives. Physical damage dealers also have the option to build into a stat called Critical Strike Chance, which is a percentage chance that your autos will deal additional damage. Next up we have Cooldown Reduction, which is a percentage of the ability's cooldowns that will be ignored, allowing you to recast abilities more often. So if you have an ability that has a 10 second cooldown and you have a 20% cooldown reduction, that ability is now going to be on an 8 second cooldown. The final things that I'm going to mention that are crucial is most of these statistics have maximum capacities that I will not be covering specifically in this video. To find this information, please consult your local god builder. Second, speed is the only statistic that I can see that has a diminishing return, which means the more you build on it, the less benefit you are going to receive. And that is all the different statistics that gods can have in Smite. If you have any questions, leave a comment. 
Otherwise, if you want to continue to learn how to both play and build within Smite right now, click that video on your screen and I'm going to see you there.